it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up guys, Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today, uh, I am on Westbridge Hills, today I'm going to be showcasing my 1982 Chevrolet K30 mod that I just finished, um, today is release day for it, uh, I'm going to start off this video by saying, um, you know, by the time that you're seeing this video, it has been released, uh, I'm posting it at the same time that this video goes live and then I will have the link to the mod down below in the description keep in mind that you will need to be a member of my mod site to be able to see the downloads and also download um, <clears throat> yeah so another thing when you download it it is going to have this 1982 Chevrolet K30 pack unzip what you need to do once you finish downloading it uh, you can drag it to your desktop, or if you use Google Chrome, uh, it will pop up. Um, there will be a little bar along the bottom here with your download. You can click it there. Uh, I usually go, or you can go to your downloads um, here, and you know, then you got your stuff there, and you can drag it out however you want to do it. Um, but really all it boils down to is you double-click on it to bring it up, and then you can see all of these different ones. Uh, there's all, there's what? Uh, ten, ten different files. Uh, d ten different trucks. So what you basically do is you uh, click and hold your mouse and highlight all of these. Click and hold it again. Drag this stuff out onto your desktop out of the zip file. And then go to your mods folder you would highlight them all and then you would just drop them in there um, I obviously already have them in my mods folder so I don't need to do that but that is pretty much what you need to do so now we will showcase the trucks um, <clears throat> let's get up here here we have all of the trucks uh, I will start at this end and go all the way down to the white one and then after the white one I will go more in depth with the trucks right now I'll just start off by giving all of the colors that we have uh, this one is a color is a hex code that a buddy sent me uh, I so I don't know like a name for it uh, I'm just calling it blue three uh, here we have cucumber green we have deep sea blue um, garden hose green, a kind of brighter lime green almost. Uh, here we have red, here we have strawberry red, um, teal, turquoise, and of course white. Um, I'll use the red truck for showing stuff off, I guess, just because everything kind of stands out more. Um, here we have the lights, uh, they're yellow. I uh, figured that's what would work the best. We have the Chevrolet logo. Uh, we have North Dakota license plates. Um, these are the old Lewis and Clark ones. We've got chrome everywhere. Uh, you can see we got you know the boards. We got the trim. We got the gas cap, uh, bumper, all that good stuff is all chromed out. Um. Here we have a ball on the back, so you can haul your trailers, and I'll show you that. Um, if we go in it, you can see inside, here's the interior. We got uh, tan leather seat and uh, mirror or sun visors, whatever. Uh, we got the gray and we got the black. <clears throat> um, yeah, so... This was a SketchUp model, so it's not the greatest. You can see through parts, but, um, you know, it's just a SketchUp model. So, it'll have its uh, ups and downs and whatnot. But So, we're going to go ahead and hop in this one. We're going to put this in Group 1, and then we're going to go ahead and start it up. Uh, we'll take off the parking brake and start it. There we go. A horn works. Brake lights work, reverse lights, uh, and then we've got headlights. So we got the running lights, and then we got the headlights there. 
And then it also has working diff locks, so if you use drive control, it will have your four-wheel drive. Another thing it also works with is course play, so if you want to have course play driving your truck, you can. Uh, and we're going to get this guy to drive the course. Uh, this is my dirt test track um, for when I download mods, just to see what their dirt looks like. And also to test my mods to make sure that my dirt works. So we're going to go ahead and let this guy drive for a while. Now we're going to make sure that he uses his uh, four-wheel drive. And then he is going to drive. And then meanwhile, we are going to... Uh, I'm going to show off the trailer. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy my fuel trailer. Um, let's see, what other trailers do I have? Hmm, I don't think I have any others that are that would really work with a ball. Nothing, 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 nothing. Because everything's pretty much just implements, so not much that uh, requires a ball. Maybe there's something here in MISC. <clears throat> Does not appear so. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and we'll just grab this white one, I guess. And then we'll go ahead and back up over to the trailer. Now turn it the wrong way. Okay, let's go ahead and hook it up and you can see everything is all lined up everything uh, looks pretty good we can also buy the in-game dolly here uh, that's another thing that I used um, when checking out my uh, checking out to see if you know where my positioning was how my positioning looked so yeah, when you download it, you can choose which ones you want, if you want all 10, or if you just want, uh, you know, maybe like just the red or something. Um, you know, you can go ahead and make uh, new, uh, new, you know, textures, you know, adding different colors to it, but uh, just do not release it um, without my permission, of course. So we'll get this hooked up. You can see everything lines up here as well. So, uh, it is all set and ready to go. So now, uh, we just wait for this guy. He really doesn't take very long. Um, but I know a way to make him go even faster in dirt. Or in terms of getting dirty. We just kind of sit and do some circles. Um, this is how... Uh, me and my buddy tested the dirt out faster uh, when we were multiplayer testing this. So it does work in multiplayer. Uh, everything fully functions yet. Uh, these have the character from FS13 in them. So it's not the uh, normal 15 character. It's not perfectly aligned, but it was kind of hard to get it fully aligned. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> like I said, it's not nothing special. It's not perfect, but it's kind of a neat little truck. <clears throat> so there, I can see it getting a little bit dirty. Excuse me. There's something stuck in my throat. See, and this does have uh, the Serious Mods cube map on it. Uh, and it also is... I also followed his AO tutorial. Um, and another thing is, if you want to 
like mix and match you know if you want maybe like your cab to be white and your box to be blue or something make it look you know like an old farm truck or something uh, the extra texture file folder is included in the zip file um, if you extract one of these trucks uh, and go to extras all of the different textures are in a folder they're all in their own folders labeled so uh, I think maybe we'll get this guy back on to the test track and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about we'll get him driving again so if we go like this bring out one of these and extract it uh, whenever you extract you always want to extract it to a folder otherwise you have like a big mess and if you've extracted other things then you run into the you know overwrite issue so here here is uh, all of the textures for it undercarriage transparent tire taillights rim license plate interior headlights this is all the farmer stuff we got the corona the cube map uh, another Corona, all the chrome, the Chevy logo. Here we got the textures for this one, and then the ball. This folder we have the specular texture, and then here is more lights. Uh, here is the emissive lights shader script. Here is all of the extras. So we have the blue three, which is this truck here, uh, the deep sea blue, teal, turquoise. Cucumber green, garden hose green, uh, the true green, the red, the strawberry, and the white. So you could mix and match if you really wanted. Uh, so, like, for example, you could go, let's see, we'll remove the spec texture on these. So if you wanted your cab to be a, let's say, you wanted the cab white and the box red. Then you could do that. Um, you know, the texture files are all labeled. So if you need, if you feel like wanting to change something, everything's labeled. Um, you got the interior here um, this was a very fun one to bake uh, trying to get all these lined up and working and ugh. anyhow um, go ahead and delete those double check this yes you can see there we go it is getting dirty um, <clears throat> This does not have individual specular textures for everything. It has one universal specular texture, um, which is titled Middle. Uh, Random Sparks shared his universal spec textures with me. Uh, he has less dirt, more dirt, and middle. Um, the less dirt, there really wasn't enough dirt on this truck, uh, in my opinion. Um, so I went with the middle. The more dirt, it pretty much turned completely brown, so there was too much dirt, but uh, yeah. So that's the truck, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you post, take any pictures and post them on Instagram, make sure to tag me in them. Uh, let me know that you're enjoying it, that you're using it. Uh, my Instagram is down below. Um, you can also post them to my Facebook page, which is down below as well. Uh, would love to see you guys using this. And if you are uh, using any videos, make sure to leave a comment down below, link into that video. I'll be sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this mod. Uh, next mod that'll be out will be the Dodge Ram 3500. Uh, that'll be my next project to work on completing. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, check out down below for my PC specs, my um, my video schedule, links to my social medias, my mod site, and also other cool YouTube channels that that are worth taking a look at. My uh, this truck is also linked down below. 
My fuel trailer you can also find on my website. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.